Hey, everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Visions. We catch up with our coaches this week, and a, a good weekend for our women's team. They get a split on the road last weekend. Joining us is their head coach, Colin Lanham. And first off, Colin, Thursday night, Jury, O'Reilly Center. I think we saw why they're the number one team in the country. But then a great bounce-back victory on Saturday in which we were trailing by 10 in the first quarter and then really turned it on and played some great basketball the last three periods. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a, an interesting weekend to say the least, you know, uh, playing against Drury. Again, we knew exactly what we were getting into. Yeah. Uh, I was a little disappointed in, in uh, you know, our attitudes and how we took it mentally going into that game. I think we went out a little, uh, a little scared. Uh, now we've seen them. We play them again, and we'll probably play them again for the third time in the conference tournament. You know, all things uh, go according to plan. So, you know, it's something we just got to get over and, and take control of. When we have confidence, I feel like we can we can compete with anybody in the league, and, and we've shown that at times. It's just a matter of kind of following through and being ready for game day. Uh, against s &T, again, another game that was, was interesting. We were getting the looks that we wanted early, just literally couldn't get anything to fall. Uh, I think we missed five layups in the first five minutes that were uncontested, wide open shots that we make 80% of the time. So, you know, it was nice to see the girls battle back, take a nice little lead, um, you know, back in the game but then Allen's got those girls playing really well and they're really confident you know I think they've got a chance to to break into the conference tournament as well this year so they're playing for a lot every time they go out and we knew it was going to be a fight till the end and, and it's exactly what it was yeah absolutely and yeah we were tracking it here on campus and it was just like oh my gosh you know we're just missing you know just the ball wouldn't fall in the first but I love what we did defensively especially in a second half you know, really tightening down some things, not letting their wings get those wing entry passes. And really, that's a credit to the post, but also the guards just doing a terrific job. Yeah, I think we did a really good job of taking advantage of opportunities. Uh, I think we turned them over around 22, 23 yeah. times or something like that. So, you know, a combination of, of – you know them making some some mental errors but us taking advantage of those opportunities so you know, that's what we talk about is we're not a team that's going to turn uh turn the other teams over by getting steals we're going to be in the right place at the right time and take advantage of miscues and, and that's what we did that game you know this week you know road trip UND tomorrow night but then you know you get Lewis who may be the second best team in the you know in the conference right now you know how you how is everybody approaching this week obviously a business trip our last two road games of the season until the conference tournament yeah I, I mean we're going one day at a time I mean our thoughts have not gone past UND at this point so you know I know one of our assistants is working on the Lewis Scout so she's going to have a good game plan to go to give to me tomorrow night once the UND game's over but I really haven't seen a whole lot of Lewis besides just a couple of games that I've seen when scouting other opponents so you know they're going to be a tough uh, a tough team they've only lost Lost a couple of games this year so you know they're rightfully ranked in the top 20 and and so you know it's going to be a dog fight but we've got to get through UND first it's a dangerous team that um, you know Kristen does a great job with the offense over there and has a really good system that you know we've been talking to her over the past couple of years once the kids get it they're really good and they've shown spurts of it you know they've had some games where they've scored 80 90 points and then some other nights where they haven't scored as many so it's going to come down to, to us being able to do what we do best and the one thing too is stopping their fast break because when they get going they love to get it and go and stopping that transition and turning our defense into instant offense that's going to be a big key tomorrow night yeah they're not as quick as they have been in the past you know they graduated a really good senior from last year but they're consistent in that they push the ball hard um you know they it, kind of what we talk to the girls, it's a little bit of a slow transition. Sometimes they'll drive up, but they just don't stop. You know, just because the defender's in front of them, they're going to continue to push the pace. You know, they've got a really good trio of, of scorers right now that are leading them. And so it's a matter of, you know, one or two of them is going to get their points. We can't let all three have big nights. And we can't let, you know, their post player have her double-double that she's had when they've had their successful nights. So, you know, it's going to be a group effort. It's going to be a team effort. It's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one type game where one kid comes out and, and outscores the rest of the team. Um, uh, you know, we've got to be fundamental and stick together. No doubt about it. Good luck on the road this weekend. Can't wait to get you guys back next week. It'll be nice to get back home. No doubt about it. Colin Lanham joins us as he does every week here on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. You'll be able to follow all the action on the road. Both games will be on the GLVC Sports Network. Remember, the UND game will start an hour earlier tomorrow here in the Central Time Zone at 4.15. And then on Saturday, 
Lewis, once again, in the Eastern Time Zone. It'll start at noon, so a lot of great things going on with our basketball team. You can follow them there, or you can follow on Twitter at Maryville Saints, and we'll give you all the updates all afternoon long. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.